Hi guys, my name is Freddy and in this video series I will explain all the elements of the free Elementor page builder. In my opinion, the best page builder for WordPress. You can get it through ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. You can download it, upload it to your website and learn a ton of stuff about Elementor on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and if you are new here, please consider to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials. Now let's get started. In this video we will take a look at the image box element. We need to scroll down. Then we see a few pro elements and over here at general elements we see the image box. I add a new section with three areas, three columns and I drag the image box over here. And this is how it looks, an image, a heading and a text. I can search for an image, I have one on my desktop. I click on upload files, select files. I go to the desktop and here I see the first one, a drawing icon. I insert the media. And there you see it. Then we see the heading and I can say drawing and here you can change the text if you want to. You can link it to a certain page. You can change the position like that or like that, but I rather have it in the middle. You can change the title tag. I change it to H2, but we can configure it further at the style tab. The image spacing, the space between the image and the title and you can change it for different devices. The image size. And I want to bring this back by the way. And the opacity. You can make it transparent or fully visible. You can have an animation when you hover over it. And then we go to the content. And we can change the spacing between the title and the content. We can change the color of the title, change the typography of the title, make it bigger for instance. And then we have the description over here. I can change the color and the typography. And all that stuff over here, make it bold, change it to uppercase. I bring it back to default, but uh, it shows you what you can do. I want to change this like that. And then I want to make the title a little bit bigger. So I go to typography over here and a bit bigger like that. If I update it and I take a look over here by clicking on the eye, it looks like that. And if you hover over it, you see an animation. And when you click on the icon or the title, you go to a certain link you have filled in over here. And now I want to take a look at the column and I go to style. So we are at the style of the column and I want to add a border, a solid border of two pixels and I can change the color to, for instance, this blue color I have in the title. I can change this to three to four and I can add a shadow like that. Make it a bit more transparent. Change this to six by six. And then I can go to advanced, to the padding, and I can say 20. So it's a space within the element. Update. Now it looks like this. And I can go over here to the section settings, advanced, and I can say top and bottom 20 pixels. So there's a bit more space over here. And now I can duplicate it, the column over here and again. And over here I can remove it. I can change the icon, get a new one, loader. I can change the title to loader over here. I upload another one tools and the title tools. 
But what you see right now is this area. You don't have space between them. So I go to this column, advanced, and I go to margin. But before I unlink it and right, I say 10. And left, I say zero. And over here, the right one, uncheck at the left, 10, like that. So now we have 10 pixels over here and 10 pixels over here, like that. I want to change it to 20. Update. How will it look? How will it look on a tablet? Like that. But on a mobile, it looks a little bit weird. So what can I do? I go over here to the settings of the mobile and I say, and I say 10, like that. Also here, 10. And also here, 10. Update, refresh. Now if I make it smaller, It looks like that. Great. So that's what you can do. And if I bring it back to the desktop version, I can go to the section. I can give it a background gradient like that. Or inside a column, I can give it a background. like that. So that's what you can do with the image box. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff and feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.